Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to link um, your Mbave chocolate MIDI foot controller to Guitar Rig 5. So you might be using something else, you know, it's not for that, this is only for Guitar Rig 5. So first, of course, kailangan mo pull up yung uh, Cube Suite. After nan, so dapat connected na sa Bluetooth yung device mo and then you choose this. There's a lot of different settings you can use, no? But I prefer to use custom keyboard keyboard mode para sa guitar rig. Para kasi minsan yung ibang settings, you need to double tap the switch para kumagat. This way, isang ano lang siya. Isang tap lang. So, yun sa akin, settings ko yung first is Z. And then, pangalawa is set as M. And then this one, I set it as space. And then this, I set as the up arrow key. So you can use these four para, para you can save your patches. Now, let's go on to Guitar Rig 5 so that I can show you how I set it. Okay. Uh, let's stop recording. Go to Guitar Rig 5. Alright, guys. So um, after we've set up the Embade Chocolate, uh, as you see, it's no longer blinking. It's not the connected to my cell phone anymore I set it up it will look like that if you set it up for custom keyboard the it looks like a small letter N and then the number four what's very important by the way as of the making of this video um, I've tried to look it up online but the seems like the only way to make it work on a Windows PC is you have to connect it using a USB cable now what's important and what I've found out, if you don't want to encounter like lagging, um, the delay on switching, making the switches, you have to connect it directly to a USB 3.0 port. So, it's the blue port, the color blue na USB port on your laptop or on your desktop. So, once you have that set up, it's connected to your computer, 3.0, USB 3.0, you, you pull up guitar rig. <laughs> Now, after you pull up Guitar Rig, um, of course, now set up yung ASIO and everything. Um, so, let's try it. Ito yung Guitar Rig. That's my clean tone. And then, so if you want to make it work that it switches patches, you know, you, then you, you just have to, um, to, to create a command. But if you want to be able to switch to specific patches, for instance, dito, I have this folder right here or this tag right here and I have three different patches this is for the clean again clean and then dirt and then wow huh? you know um, you can just uh, make it so that it switches to the next preset but if you want it to switch to a specific preset this is how you do it you go to options and then let's just say I don't have this let's delete this let's delete this all right so let's just say um we're, we're gonna add the assignments right so you click add controller and then uh for the first patch i'm gonna assign the clean channel here the clean patch so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click this and then go to tag selection and then click jump to and then you find the patch for me it was the huling sale um pulling say clean or oh, preset selection rather so you go to preset selection jump to and then you have to be inside the 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 tag or folder so the first patch i'm going to assign to clean and then to assign the the button or the the midi key so you press learn and then on the m bobby chocolate you press whichever key you want it to be in this case i'm going to use the first key right here it assigned it to the key letter z all right uh, remember we assigned it to z m space and then the up arrow all right and then so that's it now to make sure that this doesn't go away you have to press menu and then lock it in and then you add the next one so for the next one i want to have the dirt patch so again menu jump to and then dirt so you have that dirt you want to assign the button for it you click 
learn and then I'm gonna use the second patch or the second uh, second MIDI key there it switches to M of course you want to make sure you lock it and you do the third one they have like the wah effect I'm gonna find it go to preset jump to and then wah just the same click learn and then I'm gonna use the third one right there for instance make sure you lock it there right so um, this right here is the wah wait let me get my guitar so I'm muting it by the way alright so this is the wah preset then if I want to go to if I want to go to the dirt right, click this and then it goes to the dirt right here so this is the dirt and then I go to clean so doing it this way because if you choose the keyboard method um, on the Mbabe it does away with the delays I tried the other modes there's some sort of delay again one of the key points here is to use USB 3.0 you connect it to, to your USB 3.0 port and uh, just to show you you know let's say for instance I'm gonna import another patch let's say um, I want to try like x-ray heavy let's try this. Let's find a different patch, something that I actually like and use. Let's just say I have other presets here. Let's say this. Let's say I want to go ahead and add that to the tag. Then I drag this preset and then drag it over to link cell. Then we go here. And if I want to assign this one, it's a patch and then I go to add controller menu preset selection and then hotel and I'm gonna use the fourth at the last available button close key up of course I'm gonna go lock and then if we want to switch in between of course that switches there you go there you go and there you go so that's it guys you know it kind of takes a little getting used to at first but that's how it is you know um, have fun with it and um, yeah peace